In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically de-squeeze anamorphic footage. If you're unfamiliar, anam anamorphic footage looks something like this before it has been de-squeezed and uh, it needs to be kind of stretched. And there are a couple of ways you can do this automatically inside of DaVinci Resolve. And I'll go over two methods today. The first method is to create a timeline that automatically adjusts the footage based on the uh, resolution of the timeline. So I'm gonna show you here that I have this. I'm gonna mute my track, audio track here. So the resolution of my timeline is actually the resolution of the anamorphic footage after it's been de-squeezed. Whenever I bring the footage in, it just automatically stretches to the timeline. And I'll show you how to do that. When you create a timeline, what you do is, so let's say new timeline, let's say this is the test, name it test for now. And instead of using project settings, you might have default set to 4K or 1080p at 24 frames per second or 30. Uh, go ahead and uncheck use project settings. From here, we're gonna go to format. And in here, we're going to do a custom resolution. Now, the custom resolution for the anamorphic lens that I am using is a, it's a 1.6 times squeeze. So we need to reduce the height by 1.6 times, which works out to about 1350. So the resolution then becomes 3840 by 1350 to get the proper aspect ratio for this lens. After doing that, come over here to mismatched resolution, and instead of scale entire image to fit, what we're gonna do is stretch frame to all corners, and then hit create. Now, it's it's a little hard to see, but but right here I have a, a timeline that is the same resolution as my clips, and all I have to do is, let's say I have these clips here, all I have to do is click on this, clips here and drag and drop them into my timeline. And from here, it automatically de-squeezes all of my footage to the proper aspect ratio. I don't have to do anything else. From here, I can just start editing and then I can go ahead and export it, okay? That's method number one. Let's go ahead and dive into method number two. So right here, you can see that I have a 16 by nine timeline but the, my footage is un, it's still tall. It's not been de-squeezed. It's still squozen. <laughs> Don't even think that's a word, but we're gonna go with it. Um, so what you do here is you can just add an adjustment clip after you've um, done the majority of work to your clips, you add an adjustment clip. And this adjustment clip can also have color correction as well. But what this adjustment clip does is it has a, um, I unlinked the zoom and then I just adjusted the Y to 0.65, which is roughly the correct aspect ratio for this anamorphic footage. And it, you can see as soon as I disable the adjustment clip, then it stretches it back out. But this is another way to just automatically de-squeeze your footage. So now any, I can just put this on top, any footage that I bring in and place underneath this adjustment clip will just automatically de-squeeze it. And if I want to have a clip that is, um, you know, maybe from another camera that I just crop to mimic the aspect ratio, uh, then all I have to do is whenever I put a clip like then, I just, I just cut the adjustment clip so that it skips over it. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope you appreciated this video. It's a very simple and easy one today. Uh, if you like this content, leave a comment down below and uh, tell me about it. Uh, if you have suggestions for future videos, I'm also willing to uh, look at suggestions. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day.